folks, this is Noel Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Craft the World, where I've got a special guest today. This has never happened before in Noble Rambler history. Mrs. Rambler's with us. Say hello, Mrs. Rambler. Hello. <laughs> yeah, she's not a fan of this microphone, so I turned the gain up a little bit. If I'm too loud, that's why, but that way she could be heard from a little further back. Anyway, um, she has played this game far more than I have, and more recently, so... Whenever I upload a video, I then get a report of everything I did wrong or could do better or I missed this or, you know, if you, uh, if you, uh, what was the last, uh, shortcut you had, uh, key binding? Um. I didn't know you can ask me that. <laughs> there was one you told me last night. Uh, you, you told All me that. Food. What was it? If you press control and then whatever food you're putting on the table. Oh, that's table. right. So you can um, hit the control button instead of individually putting uh, placing food on here, it will load the entire table at once. So little tips like that that I get to hear after I'm done recording, and I wish she was in here just telling me that while I was doing it. Anyway, um, I took the totem off in here last time and was going to put it back over here and realized that I never did and that that would have been a mistake. The totem actually has a a radius around it. So to put it off on one side will cut out a good portion of your, what is this, stronghold, castle, whatever. Um, so it would need to go in the center. So let's see, that space bar to pause doesn't work. He is pause in this game. So to, where am I? Don't I have it on here? That's why I didn't get to it. Didn't see it again. That is there? Yeah. So let's put this one into there. And I think that's pretty close to center, except that torch is in the way. Okay, we're gonna be off center to what we're going to be building later. But um, we do need to get into some more mining been kind of uh, neglecting that and what I've noticed I think uh, last episode I pointed this out there's a lot of materials off in this direction so I'm thinking we want to head off that way as a as a good destination in fact let's just ah, it doesn't work that fast huh who's under attack let's send this through but who ah over here you got it well you kind of do let's get you some help and another no, same one. Yeah, we're down to one heart. That's that warning. And here comes Select Dwarf. Yanni to help out. And someone else. Anyway, you guys are done? Yeah. So let's send some mining off in this direction. I don't know what we're going to discover. This is a little uh, iffy just shooting off into the darkness. Might uh, be dropping them to their deaths. We'll see. I can't just hit the D button and just slide my screen across. It doesn't uh, react fast enough. So I've got to do this one at a time. I wonder if you hit, hit shift and click over here if it connects and fills. It doesn't. Never mind. What I'll usually do is get off to the end over here and then send it up and build a little house right there and gives us kind of a another way in to the, uh, to the, the fortress, we'll say without being close enough that zombies will think of making the trip in order to uh, uh, in order to attack us from that direction. They'll, they'll go the, the path of least resistance, which is usually across the top. Anyway, and if you if you uh, think of anything I need to do instead, let me know. Okay. But, um, what was that? It went away. Okay. Um, this is the way I'm planning on bringing the dwarves in from this side. This didn't quite work. So it was suggested that maybe we maintain the bridge as a way to get archers out to help shoot and defend. It'd be nice to get a bridge a little higher up here so archers can run out and shoot as enemies are approaching. We have to get rid of this to do that. But still this bridge they're going to fall off of anyway. So I think the plan right now is just to eliminate probably these so we can walk through easy enough. Just use this and we'll figure out another plan later. Um, what else? Are we... Well, we're kind of working our way in here. Ah, they can walk on these until they chop them. 
So probably best to go ahead and, and get rid of at least one of those and fill that back in. So they can jump one. Yeah, may as well do both. Who's going to do that for me? Oh, you're going to do it while you're standing on it. Yep. Sometimes they're not too smart. We do have to maintain the... Uh, or uh, keep aware of the torches that are needed, though. They'll, they'll get further into here and won't notice it, and all kinds of creepy crawlies will, will start uh, spawning into there. Otherwise, what is our long-term goal here? We did discover this one. Not going to get into that this time. This is kind of sealed up. It'd be nice to get a door into there. It'd be nice to get a steel door. Well, you're the one that told me that all kinds of craziness ran out of it. I handled it. <laughs> okay. And I got it on easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I, this is easy mode, too. Hmm. Don't worry about it. Okay, so just just release it and let them yeah, release the Kraken, huh? Okay. Okay, <laughs> will do. See, for me, it's unknown. Oh, we have an attack coming in. I wasn't even noticing that. Ooh. Seal up. Oh, seal up, guys. Uh, use. I'm gonna seal that up. These are considered sealed. They won't go through. They'll 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 beat on the door first. Anybody outside? No, we're all in here. Okay. I didn't even notice that we were that close. I was a little distracted by my special guest. But this is our third attack, right? I think so. Which means we might be getting into two waves. We'll see what comes. There's also the possibility of flying. There's a couple of sheep of uh, flying monsters. We've got some gargoyles and, and such that will eventually come at us. Oh, I'm backwards. We're over on this side. Okay, so we're coming in over here. I don't have the the spell yet that calls everybody to it, like the horn. So I can't have everybody up here waiting and ready. But I can, when he gets halfway up the ladder, send the alarm. And we'll all start getting up here to meet him. What do we got coming? I'm not seeing a another portal. And I'm not seeing our catapult launcher. Now we do have the problem of us being on the ladder. I don't like that. I wish. Let's have. Okay. Well, can I tell you to go eat? I can do that. There we go. Turn that off. Actually. Um. Yeah. Anyway. If you guys can just attack up here, that'd be great. When you're on the ladder, you're going to fall, and it's just going to go wrong. Alright, we're back up and running. The battle has continued. Let's take out the archers first, guys. Uh-oh. This guy's trouble. It's interesting. They can't actually hit us until they break that door. Or if we're smart enough to run outside. Okay, well, that's fine if you just don't get to the edge. Oh, they all want to get to surround the one that's marked. That's interesting. Let's mark this to keep you guys up here. That didn't work. Okay, everybody else is down below. Let's go visit them. We're not going to last long against this guy, though. He's got quite a nasty punch. Okay, that's enough for now. Up here, we're safe. We do have this guy coming in to, to say hi. Let's go play with him. These guys are down here. I would like to take them out. But all three are going to come at us at once. Oh, these guys have joined the party. Who else is coming? Uh, he might eventually when he figures it out. Okay, well, I'll send you up here. I'm gonna clean these guys up. That seems to be it right now. And let's just let these guys come up the ladder first. There. That will send them over. So this floor right in here, I want to make some kind of a defensive floor. That's where our that's our weakest point up here. So, double, triple entrance. Not sure what else I can do. Let's work on... Oh, we're going that way, huh? Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're over here now. <laughs> uh, 
Alright, how we doing? We'll take a couple more hits, then we'll look at needing any any healing potions. Ooh, took down one. And we're still one harder more. I guess I gotta say, hey, let's work on this one. I'll work on that one. They're about to be done. Let's just run through real quick. One and a half I can work with. Yeah, that one's a little iffy though. Let's add a health there. That one too. Two hits of one I'm not looking and they're gone. So let's... Alright, we're looking good. Alright, let's finish these guys up. <laughs> Alright, timer's up. They're lighting on fire and we're no longer acknowledging that they exist. Okay. Well, we didn't get a complete victory, so they're not going to do their victory dance. But, we can chop some trees. Make use of that... That, uh... That four minutes left. Collect some water, okay? Gather water. Alright. Take out a sheep. If I can catch him. There we go. Another one. We will add a portal off in this direction for them. And let's get some more um, feathers and leather. Okay then. Well, we know they're all going to want to hit down here, but we've got the ladder. Let's save some mana. That'll be enough. This ladder got built? It did get built. Everything's doing fine over here. Yes. They haven't taken this out yet. Let's collect this water. And we were... That's right. We were taking out all this sand. And never got back to it. Dirt. Let's replace sand. Replace, replace. And that's already grown. So we've got to chop these out. Take that one down. Yeah. We'll get back to that eventually. So we're into glass making now. So we're going to need as much sand as we can find. Otherwise, what? Let's get into the tech tree, see where we are and where we want to go. Notice last time that... What was it that was across the top? This one is up here. Uh, these the Alchemy, basic alchemy is across the top. We need the lab right here to do all this. But this Imp's Summon spell is really handy. If you haven't played this game before, you summon this one and, and I don't know, maybe five or six little... little imps fly off and go and collect all the loot from all over the map and start bringing it in for you. That's pretty cool. So, but uh, yeah, basically the health elixir is what I want to get to, which means just traveling across the uh, the top here. So we were to head into, well, this one, the basic fortifications. Here's cages and traps. So we want to get into that too. Any thoughts? Yeah, good thoughts. Good <laughs> idea, yeah. Okay, so what else is in this one? The archer's glove. And the horns. Oh, we did have the horn spell. Didn't realize that. Let's let's see. I can't use it. Click on it. I have to click on it. Oh, okay. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. Horn spell right there. There. <laughs> let's uh, let's use that just to see it happen. Where do I want to send everybody? We're almost out of. What do I not want to disrupt though by doing this? All right. I'll wait. I'll wait till there's an advantage. You know, send everybody down here to collect a whole bunch of stuff that's piled up. Like we could kind of do that. We sent everybody. Don't know if they would do it though. But if I said, everyone head over here. Pull back. We should see all of our dwarf heads all working their way down. So you'd want to do this, well, it would have been nice to have done that right here, just as the enemies came up. Or, when we're ready to attack this one. So, set the horn spell down here, and well, hopefully up here, and so we can have the high ground, get everybody collected, and then work our way down and, and uh, attack them. But that's how that works, that's that spell. They're going to hopefully pick up everything in this area. Some of them did. Well, we got some work out of them. Okay, so that's that, and I wanted to craft the... That one, the Archer's Glove. Which, 
increases the efficiency of the archer skill, which do we have yet? There was mention that if they do something long enough, they will all start to eventually, or they, they will eventually uh, gain that, that skill. What do we want here? Craft? So did our archers ever gain that? Not yet. Either they haven't used it enough or that's not quite correct. We'll find out eventually. Let's go ahead while we're down here and get these replaced. Replace silver. Any more? No. Hmm? Oh, right down here. Yeah, silver. And iron must be what's in the background. And there's some coal. Okay, got a couple of spiders to take out. Might as well get that going. And we'll grab the, the silk while we're here. And can't reach that silk. Though, what's the name of the YouTuber? Chiron? Chiron. Yeah, I haven't seen him for a long time, but he's also just starting up Craft the World. And he had mentioned, and something that I have forgotten all about, if I select Dwarf and Control, I can WASD as well as Climb, and then I can click on it. And she can reach one square further than they can reach on their own. So there is a chance to get to that third square. Wish I had, well, <laughs> let me release control. How do you do that? That's right there. Um, I wish I'd thought of or known that or remembered that when we were fighting this area up here. Could have dealt with that. But uh, the game allows you to do more with the uh, uh, w by taking control of a, of, a, of a character than the game will do on its own. But I like to let them do their own thing myself. Anyway, so we're working on this, and we're kind of not. I wonder why that is. I'm guessing that they will always pick the job that is closest to them, and this is something that's going to happen when there's less to do around here. Maybe all that I queued up out here shut down the mining. That could be. Still have a feather out here. And somebody in the middle of the night is going to get the urge to go and pick that up. Yep, you just wait. I gotta leave it there just for the, just for the uh, the adventure of it. This needs to be dealt with, and they should eventually all on their own. What else? And this still needs to be done. Let's coax them out here. Let's get this done so I can stop thinking about it. Um. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we'll do that. So this essentially becomes the shorter path. It's as if it was just three steps away from this space right here because that's just one space away from their portal or using the portal system so that's why this sudden became more important than what was already queued up down below I'm guessing and you're trying to shoot the boar with an arrow from a bad angle well at least you're contributing now when we've got expensive silver arrows and fire flaming arrows that's when you might not want your your archer to be a hunter and waste a whole bunch of expensive arrows. We can't get out of here, can we? No, we can't. Do that. And we've got nighttime coming. All right, we'll do that. And somebody will show up with it. Okay. Let's get these filled back in with dirt before something grows. And that one as well. Build earth. That one right there. Need to put one there as well. And fill this in so they can walk down that. Alright, ladders have shown up and they'll take care of the rest of that. And we're out of portal. Um I guess it doesn't matter where. Put it right there. Alright. Coming back in with dirt. They'll take care of that. What else? Um, I talked about doing the archer's glove, and I never did it. So let's get back to that. <laughs> My mind is going too many directions right now. Uh, let's add a rope. And something like that. Back to this one. There. That gives us three. And let's go right to equip. And archers right there. Now, that's what I was asking an episode ago. Which tab do these sort of things land in? And that's it. 
All right, that's done. Now what? Um, now what is, let's continue through this process here. Let's work on steel clubs. And that is the wooden staff. Let's see here. Wooden staff is a simple magic staff. Let's see what that does. Let's see. Uh, and later we're going to get into more stuff that the staff can do, but but let's uh, let's see what the basic version does. So, oh, glass. We did get glass. That's right. We started that process. And wood. And one staff. Who, I wonder, will be our mage? Now yeah, we'll figure that out. But back to this tree here. Steel club. That's what I was going for. So let's grab those. And we have still only three iron. I double clicked. Arr. Back to there. There you are. And we'll do all three. So we need steel. We need iron. We're getting there right here. We can just coax them to go into there. How do we do that? Who? Nah, that's not what I want. Let's go to equip. Who are our miners? Do we have other mining books? We do not. So those who are dedicated to mining. <clears throat> Esther? Is it. So mining is going to be a little weak right now. You guys are all still here for what reason? Because you're waiting for me to give you orders. Mm, can't do that. Got to get this filled in first. That it? That's it. You know, control rest. There are a lot of them that are down to like one and a half hearts. I think they've got to hit one heart to automatically go and rest. So let's force them to. Ten beds, or ten dwarves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve beds are available for ten dwarves, so that is fine. Um, how are we on wood? Fifty-seven. Not much. We need wood so we can continue our process up here. And what is that? I thought about a couple of towers up in here. It might look nice. Just trying to figure out what that is actually going to be like. And who is fighting whom right now? Do we send... I know we send stone up through here. And then wood. Oh, I did it again. There we go. Let's refresh one of these and it will refresh them all. Anyway... Stone than wood, but do we put a layer of stone here and here? What's it take to put a bed in? If this is going to be bedroom areas, beds have to have a space on either side, right? We can't be up against a wall at least. So space, bed, space, bed, space, wall. How does that work? Something like that. If we did that, one, two, three, four, five in the center. One, two, three, four, five. That doesn't work over here because the ladder is going to go up right in the middle. We need the ladder off to an edge. Hmm. So, in other words, this ladder is going to head in this direction. So, probably want to stagger this. Hello, guys. Hey, guys, go and... Uh, Ah, now we're going to see how they react with this kind of a door versus that door. They just walk right in. Nope, they still got to attack it. Okay. Why are you going down there? Because you need to be a certain distance away to shoot your arrows. That's why. Interesting. What if we were to build those two, give us a ledge out there, and then put stone over that, let our archers walk out, and also have a stopping point. So they get backed up, they'll turn around, they'll come back in. That sound right? That took him out. I'll send an arrow into him. Ah, two arrows. Perfect. Take him while we can. Nope, he's done. Let's think about this. A place for the archers to get a little further away and shoot without falling. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe that's what this is going to become later. Anyway, do we stagger the stairs over? It seems like the right thing to do. 
I got Mrs. Rambo's approval. She's a lot quicker at decisions than I am. I started thinking about what's going to happen if I do that, and is that just going to be all ripped out and done over again like this plan? Anyway, we freaked out here with that. Um, let's stone that one in, and that will activate that again. It's going to look kind of funny. I mean, normally you would want some kind of a support column under it, but... Um, don't need it. The physics don't require it, but my sense of logic does. We'll put a connector in there, though not... We'll put a stone connector in there. Yeah, that'll look better. Anyway, so we're working on this again. And these stairs... Stairs. Do we have any other stairs that are no longer needed? Let's remove that ladder, remove that ladder. Eventually we're going to get into... I'm sorry, I was going to put one in there. Right there. We're going to get into, let's see, what were they called? Scaffoldings? Where are those? They'll take the place of ladders, and they're so much more convenient. Advanced construction. Scaffolding. So be able to drop scaffolds in, stack them up as high as you want, and then you can take them back down easily and just keep reusing them. So make 40 of those, and you'll have, your mining system will have large, you know, scaffolding runs all over the place as you're building projects. Much easier easier than ladders, and they're instantaneous if I remember right. So you don't have to wait for them to be built. You just drop them, and they just go right in. <clears throat> Under attack. Ah, down in here. Let's call some help down there. And let's get some lights down there. So there, and something up in here. They'll come and help, and hopefully they'll continue digging once they're there. That would be nice. We'll see what the game gives them as their next command. Oh, okay. And feel free to speak up a little. The, the gain is up, but not that far. There's one over there by the snail. Here. Now, eventually, you know, we've got the um, replace roots. We've got the um, the DLC dig with friends. Is that what it's called? Something like that. To where she and I could be playing on two different computers side by side. I'm not sure how to make that work for a series, though. It'd be nice to have a microphone to, to hear both of our conversations. Build Earth. And lights. Boy, they did clear that out. I wasn't even looking. So, I'm going to pop another one in there and there and somewhere over in here. What book is this? The Logger's Book. This comes away. That does not. Yeah. We'll wait till this is all kind of lit up and we can see what, what's going on there. Somewhere in here we've got iron. Here I could drop two scaffolding in and just get to work. Go up higher and higher. But ladders are what I'm depending on at the moment. Which I need to make more of. To craft ladders we can make only 31. Let's do something like that. Get that one built. Let's replace iron barely see in here. Let's send in a portal and speed this up a little bit. Not that one. What do I want? Dirt? Dirt. Replace. Replace. And replace. Got to thinking. I hardly ever see... No, they don't have any behind it if it's not in front. Oh, there's nothing behind it. Okay. Well, never mind. I was wondering, you know, you randomly find one back behind. I don't ever really notice if there was one in front to begin with. So, but apparently that's not the case. All right. That ladder's in. Let's take out these. We're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I want to replace the dirt on these upper ones rather than have to go back and try to rebuild. So we keep a fairly decent thickness of, uh, of, of earth above us. We'll take these out, add another ladder, and start getting some serious quantities of iron in. Too bad I can't just place one there and have it replace it with this, but it doesn't work that way. Then we're going to replace dirt in there. And right there. So 
but still waiting for this replacement ladder to show up. They used up that portal already? They did. They don't last long down here. Alright, once the ladder shows up, we can do these two. Otherwise, let's get that out of here and get another ladder. No. Let's go sideways. If someone would just build this, though. Come on, guys, build it. Put this in here, and we'll go sideways and work above and below. That'll work. There we go. So, guys, send me this direction. Let's do that and replace that one. Replace rear. And for that matter, let's go ahead and re yeah, we'll replace those. We have dirt right on, on the backs right now, so that's the fastest way. Um, um, right there. Thank you. Go on. Can you just go across? Across here? No, from the others. Because I'm going to fill this back in. Give me a little more, a uh, little more thickness in here. Mm -hmm. about that. Like well, when I played before, four was enough to block all attacks. When when they break into your fortress from another direction that you aren't planning on, suddenly you've got them coming in from multiple directions. You learn to make sure that never happens again. Yeah, but I think on this level you won't have to worry about that. Okay, you gotta talk a little louder. You gotta get your announcer voice going. Okay. <laughs> I need a light in here. Let's do uh, that. And anyway, let's pop this into there and dig sideways through here and pop that one out, dig up there. That should reach a lot of stuff. What's going on here? Mice. We got rats. So let's take them out. You know, I have no idea what to, when I started this episode. How long have we been... Uh... Nope, stop that. Stop that. How long have we been recording? I have no idea. There's the mouse nest. I've been looking for that. Look at all the arrows stacked up. So we've got to haul all these now back to inventory. If you really need arrows, drop a portal right here and they'll just, they'll just buzz back and forth for a couple of minutes. Moving all those. Where? Alright, there. 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 So is he actually going to eat the food or is he just going to wander over there and, and stare at it? Oh, look at that. He just pulled a fried egg down. Yes, they do. Okay. So, if we hold the control down. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at that. That's I Well, we we're going to have salad with our with our steak here. We'll mix that up too. Anyway, <clears throat> kitchen. That reminds me. You guys got this under control? You pretty much do. And I can ignore these guys for a while. Let's think about what's going on up here. First of all, another ladder up in there. And could go right there. But let's think about the kitchen. Craft? Where would that be? Food? No. House. Right there. We found this when we broke the chest down below of that, uh, that, uh, that ruin or whatever that place is. So let's drop this into there. And, well, eventually another one of these. Eh, we don't need more than, than one at the moment. That'd be fine. And tables. Let's do that. Let's get this set up. Can I? That's strange how it gave me just a small representation. I thought this was a big... No, they're not very big. Okay. Oh, so there's another one that's much bigger, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, that right there, and then tables. All along here, this is where they can go for their banquets. And let's start tearing this apart. You, remove. No one's using the bed. There would be a backpack next to it if someone had grabbed it. So, we're going to remove that bed, and let's take these tables apart. Once these start to go in, I'll drop food up there for them. Oh, hello. Just going to invite yourself in, huh? Okay. I think I should probably get an extra stone or two in there. Anyway, we're taking care of them, and let's continue. We've lost the walls, haven't we? We did. Craft. There. There. Four. Got to make more. 
That one's in, so we can toss that. Um, yeah, we just got to make more. Let's do some chopping, some wool, some feathers, and they are not coming back here to pick things up. So I guess we're just going to have to coax them ourselves. And we were thinking about putting water here in case they fell. Let's go ahead and continue that plan. Just to uh, to see how it works. See if it's possible. Take you out. Take both of you out. In fact, we can use this as a place to farm leaves over and over again. Grab the roots. Make good use of our, of our portal here. Alright, so I'm going to take these out so I can get that going now. Try to remember how, how do you fill in water? Oh, ice, you could have them place and then ice would melt in on the ice map. But there's no way in the in this map to place water into a moat. Okay. So eventually this should fill up with water. And then we'll get fish in there. Speaking of fish, how far are we from fish, fishing poles? Ah, it's right there. Okay, so let's work on... Man, we need more wood. Oh, we'll try anyway. Traps. Traps are fun. Steel traps are better, but these will do for a while. Let's do ten of those. And then... Wooden cage. We'll play with those. And... We can do... Man, we'll do... That's enough. What else was in that, that group? Spikes. Okay, we'll do that. And we're almost out of wood now, so we're only going to get two. Okay. And that completed that one gets us two fishing poles. So we need wood, which is on its way in right now. So we're not far from that. Though we do need lots and lots more wood. Let's do this, that, not that, that. Another portal there. And pop that out. Let's get dirt into the... Well, only, we can only go one space, so though <clears throat> if I do all three of those, fill in that one. Which isn't a problem. <clears throat> you know, it's really not. Let's take that one out, put dirt right there, and just leave that, that void. And we'll farm leaves out of it later. So that's okay. Alright, so that takes care of that. And let's do this one, just to give reason for the rest of the timer on this. And we'll do those roots. All right, over here. That's interesting. And we have a lot of goods over here to pick up. Why can't I not? That was weird. It wouldn't let me do it in there. What leaves are a layer. But this can't be done. I guess it can't be done where there's something in front. Okay. Let's clean up this as well as this. Let's kind of take this down, level it off. Just because. And trees can't grow there if there is dirt in the background. That's right. So we need to take this layer out as well. What was that? That's mining. Oh, good. Let's set another miner. And, sure, let's get some leather. Okay, and with that, we got another one here. And we've got a cookbook. Take that tree out, that bush. Gather the water. Oh, root and gather the water. Alright. Give some plenty to do over there. This stuff is still waiting to be brought in. I'll wait, though. They're busy enough. If I set a portal now, they're just going to ignore it. Or they'll ignore the other one. Alright, let's lay some more stuff out. And I got the sense we need to be shutting this episode down soon. Build stone. Build stone. And we're going to need to get out there to do that. Boy, scaffolding would be so nice right now. How far away were we? That was in building... Advanced building. We're there. We're there. Scaffolding. Next one. What? 
Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there and there. Yes, I'll take all ten of you. And then let's set a bunch more planks to be built, to be uh, cut. And that's the end of our wood again. Scaffolding. Craft. There. Oh, they've got to build them. This will come out of the, the workshop. Okay, there's a trap. You can trap animals with that, which means we've got to have fences coming up soon. Where would those be? I think it does show up in in this tab. Yeah. So that's coming up here soon. Once we get fences... Boy, I would have thought it, it would have been with the traps, because you need to fence them in. That's stone. It should have been before stone. Oh, right. No. Go back to farming. Above. Farming. Ah, farming. So we can trap the animals, but we can't do anything with them until we get to farming and we can make a corral. Hmm. That may not have been thought out too well. <laughs> My opinion. All right, let's do... If I do that, they can hit this one from the inside. Okay, I don't have to, to waste a portal. Are you going to do that? You are. Thank you. Just just my luck you come up and build this one and we still be sitting here waiting. Okay. So with that, I can then start sealing this in for 22 minutes plus gabbing time and, and uh, this next attack hits. Which is probably a good place to call this one done. Ooh. We have more... Uh, more exposure to what's available in our uh, in our, our our zoomed out map and gold found gold down there. Anyway, this has been Noble Rambler with guest appearance of Mrs. Rambler, her first time on YouTube. So everyone say hi in the comments and and coax her into uh, eventually creating her own series no, on no, this. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, want to say goodbye? Oh, goodbye. <laughs> All right, bye-bye, folks.